men made me what I am today. I have no desire whatever to reform myself. My only desire is to reform people who try to reform me. And I believe the only way to reform people is to kill them. My motto is to rob them all, rape them all, and kill them all. What we have here are examples, three examples, from the papers of Carl Panzerin. During my 20 years in all the various prisons and jails I have been in, I have undergone every kind of abuse and punishment. I began to hate those who abused me. Then I began to think that I would have my revenge just as soon and as often as I could injure someone else. I encouraged him to write his autobiography. If he hadn't been tortured, and if I hadn't been friends with him right afterwards, he would never have written the story. In my lifetime, I have murdered 21 human beings. I have committed thousands of burglaries, robberies, larcenies, arsons, and last but not least, I have committed sodomy on more than 1,000 male human beings. My intention was to rob, rape, and kill anybody and everybody. <laughs> In 1928, he begins uh, to write uh, to his jailer, Henry Lesser, uh, about all the incarcerations uh, throughout his, his life, talking about things that he's sorry about in his life. I am sorry, sorry that I'm unable to murder the whole damn human race. The public screaming, you know, for law and order, lock them up, throw away the key. And so that's what we're doing. Unfortunately, 95 to 98% of the people we lock up, guess what? They come out. And they come out angrier, nastier, a la Carl Pandra. All that I leave behind me is smoke, death, desolation, and damnation.